took it off and I wasn't aware. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, took it off. You didn't I cannot believe Mattia Pamibo had the audacity to get a girl pregnant and disappear from social media. These TikTokers want to get canceled so bad. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, or specifically to today's recap video on your favorite problematic TikTokers out there. Your girl is so amped to spill all the latest hot tea since we're going to be mentioning Dixie D'Amelio and Noah Beck and how they got called out for upsetting their fans, Mattia Pamibo getting canceled all over the internet internet for getting a girl pregnant, and Bryce Hall being confronted by a celebrity because of his girlfriend, Addison Rae. I can't wait any longer, you guys, so let's start with none other than Bryce Hall. Another day, another drama going on between Addison Rae and Bryce Hall. Will they ever give themselves a break? So I don't know if you guys have seen the latest drama going on with Addie and Bryce, but just recently they both got into a huge mess with the rapper Little Yachty after he decided to mention Addison Rae in his new song. <laughs> Y'all better cover your ears in three, two, one. Yeah, the short clip of Little Yachty's new song caused a lot of chaos in the TikTok community to the point where both him and Bryce got in an internet fight with each other. I'm sorry. This is just unbelievable to me. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, the drama with Lil Yachty and Bryce didn't stop there, you guys. In fact, it got worse the other day when Bryce exposed the heck out of Lil Yachty in a tweet that shows how the rapper was asking Bryce for his permission to include Addison Rae in his music video. Hey, yo, Lil Yachty? Yo, would you and Addison be down to be in the music video for the Eat Ear song with Yachty? Let me know what you guys want. Would be some funny shit. No, LMAO. Right after he made Lil Yachty look like a clown, Yachty was quick enough to respond, and of course, he had to throw some shade in there. Listen, kid, I wouldn't have you in my video if my life depended on it, not my song also. Also, I did this first four months ago. Relax, bro, it's not that deep. Go take some shirtless photos or some. <laughs> Lil Yachty's tweet made it very clear that he had no idea who Bryce Hall really was since as soon as he made fun of him for taking shirtless photos, Bryce immediately hit back with this tweet. You mean like this? <laughs> I'm sorry. Lil Yachty should quit at this point. A couple of days passed by without hearing any response from either Bryce or Lil Yachty, but it turns out that both of them were fixing their beef off camera. In fact, not a day ago, Lil Yachty went on live stream with Bryce to clear some things up and apologize to him for mentioning Addison in his song. If I woke up and somebody said some shit about my, you know what I'm saying? I would probably like feel the type of way, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and, but I don't know you. But so I want to, I do, I do, I, I apologize for the simple fact, for the simple fact of I'm a man and you're a man and that is your girl, you know what I'm saying? So of course you might think that people would immediately forgive Lil Yachty after he apologized to Bryce, but nope, that didn't happen at all. A lot of people were upset as he didn't apologize to Addison instead for disrespecting her in the song. He's apologizing to the wrong person. He should be apologizing to Addison. Don't apologize to him. Apologize to Addison because you keep on calling her Bryce's bitch. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on the internet beef between Bryce and Lil Yachty? Do you think the drama was over the top? Let me know in the comments down below. Mattia, honey, is being homophobic, racist, and a bully not enough for you to the point where you impregnated a girl? Now what the hell is this? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. After months of the TikToker Mattia Polibo getting exposed left and right for being homophobic, racist, and a bully back in high school, he's finally getting canceled now that he got called out for getting a girl pregnant while being in a relationship. How does this even make any sense? Girl, bye. Because what you talking is nonsense, girl. This whole mess went down earlier this week when a girl called Jade decided to slam Mattia, basically talking about how he cheated on his girlfriend Vicky with her. And guys, I know you won't believe this, but Jade even mentioned during the live stream how Mattia hooked up with her and took off his protection without 
her consent. What the hell? He took it off and I wasn't aware. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait. He took it off. You didn't know? He didn't even ask for your permission. No, he literally just took it off. After this short clip blew up, Matias started trending all over social media since the accusation that Jade threw at him could literally put him in jail. When people were destroying Matias for allegedly being a rapist, Jade couldn't handle it and had a few things to say herself. She posted a huge statement on her spam account basically saying how she's gonna lie for Matias just to protect him from receiving any more hate on social media. I'm gonna lie and tell everyone I'm lying so everyone can go back to normal and Mattia could be cool and we can act like nothing happened. I'm gonna do that. He can be okay with Victoria and everyone and then all the hate would be on me and he can just be okay and everything would be okay and I'd vanish off the app and reality and life and it'd just make everything look fine. And I think the best option is just to lie and say I lied so that everyone is okay again. That's the best option. That's the best option. I'm gonna do that on my main. I wasn't God, he took it off without asking, yeah, but you all need to f***ing realize I didn't know at first. When I did notice, I could have stopped it. I didn't though. It wasn't against my will. I wasn't forced. After Jade posted these statements, a lot of people were terrified that Jade would hide the truth about Mattia. And guys, the situation got a lot worse when Jade leaked her own messages with Mattia, basically telling him how she feels bad for him now that he got canceled because of her. When all this mess was going down, Mattia did not say a word on social media. Instead, he turned off his comment sections under all his TikTok videos because of all the hate comments people were leaving. Anyways, after things went from bad to worse, Jade decided to put an end to the situation by posting another statement for her followers. This time, basically saying how she didn't do this for attention and Mattia didn't her at all. But of course, the entire internet took the situation way more seriously since it was confirmed that stealthing during a sexual encounter is considered sexual assault. Here's how people reacted to the whole situation. Man, she's probably so scared right now, so young. Y'all gotta be better than this. Y'all ladies need to be some supportive for your fellow ladies. If she wanted full privacy, she would have left her pregnancy completely off social media and not tell anyone. The fact that y'all forced her to speak on the situation just like y'all forced Danielle Cohen to make a video about her abortion? Sick. Anyways loves, what's your opinion on Mattia getting Jade pregnant without her consent? Let me know in the comments. Dixie and Noah being humbled by people is something I never expected to happen in 2020. <laughs> If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, well, let me give y'all an explanation. As many of you guys know, both Dixie D'Amelio and Noah Beck are in the category of the most hated TikTokers ever. The reason why Dixie blew up was because of her sister Charlie, and as for Noah Beck, the secret for his huge success in a short amount of time is still a mystery for me. And of course, he also receives hate for it as well, so here's how all of this is connected to today's topic. Now, to start right off the bat, both Dixie and Noah Noah got in a very awkward interaction with their fans earlier this week when they got on the Omega website to meet their fans via video chat. Let's just say it didn't really go as planned. Oh. Bryce Hall. Party animal. Oh. He's in, he's in the hype house. Oh. Oh. Um, I. Can you guys guess? Oh, it's. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I can't tell. No, are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. As y'all can see, their own fans were literally pretending that they weren't amused when they saw them. In fact, the fans who met Dixie and Noah were trying to humble them by confirming it in their caption. You might find this one shocking, but a lot of people were extremely happy with how the fans handled the situation and how Dixie and Noah were embarrassed for acting as if everyone knows them. The satisfaction this gives me. Not Dixie talking like this when she's literally famous for being someone's sister. They thought you were gonna be screaming so they didn't know what to do and you didn't. They probably got sad because you didn't recognize them. Anyways loves, what's your opinion on fans humbling Dixie D'Amelio and Noah Beck? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's messy recap down in the comments below. I love you so much.